Hi guys and welcome to this next video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create animated SVGs where you get the image to fade in uh, behind the actual SVG animation. So I'm just reloading this page. Uh, I'm just going to show you. So you've got your animation there with the, the lines drawing in with the SVG and then you've got the actual image of the iPad, iPad coming on top of that and uh, we're going to activate it on scroll as well. So the image that I'm going to do is this one here. So I'm going to take this image, I'm going to redraw it in Adobe Illustrator to get the outlines, and then I'll create the SVG and the image animation uh, to activate on scroll as we go down this page. So just to show you what I mean by scroll, so you can see this SVG animates in uh, as we scroll down the page. So I'm going to do exactly the same for this. So uh, what we need to do for this is I've, I've already got the image here that I've created so I'm going to open that up in Adobe Photoshop so we'll just uh, launch Photoshop here and then once that image is loaded so we've got the image there we'll tear that up to 100% just uh, make the, brow, uh, the window a little wider and what I need to do first is I need to get this image size. Now, if we're creating an animated SVG with an image on it, and it's got to be a specific size and a specific position on a page, we need to obviously create that image first, which is what I've got here. Um, and then so that it's positioned correctly on here, we need to create the SVG at the same size. So I'll take this image into Photoshop and we go image, image size. And we're going to look at this size here. So we've got 12 or 2 by 660. So what I need to do next is an Adobe Illustrator. Again, you might be using a different vector program. Is I'm going to create a new document, and with and that document is going to be in pixels. It's going to be 12 or 2 by 660. So that's the document. So it's it's exactly the same size as the Photoshop file but it's in Adobe Illustrator so we can create the SVG graphic. So there we go, we've got untitled at 100%. So at the moment, I don't actually need Adobe uh, Photoshop anymore, so I can just minimize that there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this file. I'm gonna put it into a, into a folder on my desktop. So I'll just put it on the desktop there, create a new folder, and we'll just call it SVG Tutorial. So that's in there. So I'm just gonna call this um, Devices SVG, oh sorry, devices, uh, get that right, SVG, so on the desktop and we're in SVG tutorial, so I'm just going to save it as a .ai file, so a native illustrator file for this uh, moment in time, and then what we'll do is we're going to put the image, so I've got my folder here, and I'm just going to keep everything, it's just, it's just housekeeping really, so I'm going to keep the image that I'm using in the same folder, so if I ever need to come back to it, everything's in the same place. So first thing that I need to do is I need to place that image into the Illustrator file. So devices.jpg, we place that in there and we can position it directly on the border, uh, on the extremities of the Illustrator file because it's the same size. And then what we need to do is get the layers. It's, it's good practice to name your layers when we're creating more complex SVGs. So what we'll do here is we'll just call this image. So that's the layer. And then we're just going to lock that layer because we don't actually need to do anything with it. So if we've locked it, we're just going to draw around it. So I'm going to create a new layer and we'll just call it SVG. So at that point, I'm just going to save the file again, just so we've got everything set up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing around these devices here. Now, I'm going to speed this video up in a moment, but I'll just show you uh, how I start this, so we, we want no fill on what we're doing and we're going to put a stroke of red on it just for now. So I've got my swatch here, I'm just going to put a stroke of red on it, just purely so I can see what I'm actually drawing over. So just as a starting point I'll draw around this screen. So if I just get my pointer on it there, and we draw the actual screen. I mean you can use the square tool if you wanted to, there's, there's no problem using that. Um, so that's the, the screen that we've drawn there. So the next thing that we'll, I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw around the actual Macintosh. It's at the, the laptop itself. So we click on that there. Just start getting the curves in there. And just really try and get it as close as possible. You know, no one's really going to notice any bits of... Um, vectors that you slightly get out of place because it's animating in but obviously for a good quality site you want to get everything in, in as good a position as possible so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to speed this video up here um, and you'll see me draw it all the way through but uh, i'll put a bit of music on while i'm getting to the end so you can see uh, what we get with the end result so back in a second
there guys so there we go i've got that drawn now so if i just reduce down to 100 percent we can see we've got the background image and we've got the red lines on top which is all the outlines for the svg that we need and then it's on an svg layer as well now if we just take a second to, to think about what we're doing here if we go back to the actual web page that we've designed and the svg that we're creating we want the animation to appear we want the lines to appear in this gray color here so it's it's in keeping with the theme so i know that this these lines here are going to be in uh, a certain color but we don't want these lines to appear after the image is faded in so the lines don't actually need to have any fill, uh, any stroke on them at all so all we need to do is set that so there's no stroke on those lines at all but on our layer we still have the vector artwork and we have the image in the background so i'm just going to save that file now so we've got uh, back to uh, keep the copy of it now what we need to do is we need to um upload the image first now what i need to do is i'm going to log into our wordpress theme here so there we go we're logged in now what I, the reason i need to log in is because if i go back to the to the home page we need to know where this image is on the server because when we create the svg the svg needs to know an address where this image is kept so the url so i'm just going to go into the media manager and just to make it a little bit quicker, instead of trolling through all my images to try and find that image, I'm just going to re-upload the, the image that I've, I've named as devices.jpg. So all I'm going to do is drag and drop that on there. And we'll just wait for that image to upload. So there we go, the image is uploaded now. So if I just click on that image, I'm going to leave this window open because this is what we need here. We need the URL of the, uh, of the actual image. So we'll come back to that in a moment. You'll see why we need that. So the first thing that we need to do now is we need to go File, Save As. And we're actually just going to change that to an SVG. Now we're not actually going to save the file, but if we click Save, what we're actually after is the SVG code. Now there's different options with Illustrator, but for the purpose of this tutorial, you need to have it set as Link. So we're going to link to the image and then all these other options need to be ticked off. Um, yeah, we'll tick that off as well. So if we just click on SVG code and it actually opens a text file um, for the actual code itself. So all we need to do then is highlight the, te the code from SVG down to SVG. Like I've said in the other tutorials, we don't need any of this metadata at the top. So I'm going to select that text SVG to SVG and we're going to then go to our plugins to the enliven them animator and then we're going to double click on the animator and we're going to open that up so i'm going to paste this code into here now if i go to proceed here you'll see that it's yeah so you'll see that it's picking the image up here but that image is actually being picked up from the path on our desktop so if i go back to the source we actually want to change the image path here so we've got the image tag for the image on the image layer because this is the layer here and we need to change it to the path that we were looking at in the WordPress install so that it's sat on the server. So if I go to, so we'll just cancel that. If I go back to Firefox now and into the media library and we need to get this URL. So if I highlight that, copy that, and then we go in here and then we paste that in there. What's that? What that's going to do is look over the internet onto the server and pick that image up. So if we go to proceed again, you'll see it reloads it in. Now we need to do that obviously so that the image is published on the internet. So if we reduce that down now, so we can see it in the viewport. Now, again, there's more detailed uh, documentation on using the Enlivenum editor. But again, for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to set this to responsive because I do want it to change uh, with the width with of the browser. Now, the viewport shift, I'm going to say I want it to start animating as soon as one half of this actual image appears or the SVG appears. I don't want to delay and I don't want to loop it. So what we've got here, you can see. Now it's, this is where the good housekeeping comes in play. We've got the SVG layer there with all the elements on it and we've got the image layer as well so we can turn them on and off and look at them as we want to. So the image itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image and we're going to say to this, right, we want the various type and we want it to fade and we want it to fade in with a delay of around, let's say we'll set the delay to 2000, so two seconds, and we want it to have a duration fade in of 2000. So if I actually play that now, you'll see that it, it fades in. 
but there'll, there'll be a delay on that of two thousand sec of two seconds, two thousand milliseconds. So then the next thing that we want to do is we want to animate the SVG first. So we just click on the layer because you're actually animating the layer directly, and we want to go draw lines, and we want to we don't want any delay on that because we want the lines to come in first. We're going to set uh, the animation to three thousand seconds. We're actually going to set the colour of the line to the grey that I mentioned earlier, so it ties in with the theme. So that's the colour for the grey. So then the thickness of the lines, we're going to set that to, uh, I think we'll set that to 2 for now. And then what we can do is if we click the red play button, it'll show you how it's actually going to animate and all going to look. I'm pretty happy with that straight off actually. Sometimes when you click that play button, it does need to, you need to wait to reset it so you can watch it play properly. And we see that in an animate in there. It's just, uh, if we reset the view, I just want to see the thickness of the lines. Again, you've just got to wait for that to correct itself. Um, so we can see, so we click the play button. Yeah, I'm happy with the thickness of those lines, that's fine. So all we do now is we go to result and we get the code that the, the, the editor has created for us. We just select all that code. We're going to copy it. We're going to create a new text document, paste that code in there. We're going to click save. And then we're going to put that onto the desktop and we're just going to call this um, devices underscore anim. So I know it's the animation and we need to make sure that we've got the .svg on the end of the file name there. So if I save that, use SVG. So we can close that down now. So here we've got the file. So what we need to do now, obviously, is load it up to the, uh, to the page and get it in there. So I'm already logged into this site, so I'm just going to refresh this page so that it brings up my control uh, bar at the top. So there we go. I'm going to edit the page. So I always open this up in a, in a new tab, so I've got the page open as well. I'll just stop that video there. So then, obviously, if we scroll down now at the moment, the image is there. So once the page is loaded in the back end... So there we go, the page is loaded. So I just need to scroll down to the visual composer element that's holding the image for us. So go down here. So at the moment, it's using a single image uh, visual composer element. Now, we can't use that for an animated SVG, so we just need to delete that. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then we just need to add a new text box. So it's text boxes that we use for animated SVGs in the content of visual composer. So we'll load the editor here, so we're just going to delete that text. We're going to say that we're centering uh, the image, and we want to add media. So we just click on the add media button. And then all we're going to do is upload the animated.svg file. So there we go, the SVG file is now uploaded. Uh, so we just need to select that. We don't want it to link to anything, so we're just setting that to none. And then we insert that into the page. Now you just have to wait a few seconds here whilst the SVG actually gets loaded into the editor. It does take uh, a few seconds sometimes. And there we go, the SVG is loaded in there now. So what we need to do is the SVG at the moment won't animate because we need to add the class to it. So all we do is select the image again in the editor, click the edit button. And then all we do is on the advanced options here, we just need to add image CSS class. And we just set, select, uh, set that to enlivenum, which is the class which we, which we use to create the animated, animated SVG. So enlivenum. So if I update that now, and then we save that. So if I actually save the page now, so there we go, that page is uh, is just finished saving. So if we go to the front end of the site, and then what we're going to do is we're going to reload that page. So there we go, that page is just loaded. So I'll just stop the video there. Um, so if we scroll down now, we keep keep your eyes on on the screen, obviously, as we scroll down, and we'll see the animation come in here. For the devices and a really cool device animation there as we scroll down so i'll just make the browser a little bit wider you can see that it's responsive now as well so we've got the the, uh, the responsive svg in there and it's the full width of the screen so i'll just load that again so you can see it so there we go the page is loaded again just stop the video again scroll down and watch the anim animation coming so amazing svg graphics that you can easily create for your theme 
it just it just creates that user interaction and allows you to engage with your customers a lot more with the website and the content that you're creating so uh, again there'll be more tutorials on svgs we're going to keep adding these tutorials for all the different areas of the sigma theme as the theme grows and gets uh, even more popular than it already is um, so yeah check back soon and uh, keep an eye out for updates and uh, we'll look forward to building your next project with you so thank you very much